Hello Church, it is fantastic to be with you all today. Uh, my name is Joe, I'm part of the Audacious Wellbeing team and I also attend Central Location. Um, I'm going to be sharing today around the theme of faith and miracles um, in this kind of devotional series we're going to, going to be looking at. Um, I'm going to be sharing around the verse in Philippians 4 verse 13 and it's a verse we all know really well. It reads, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And you've probably heard that um, a number of times before. You've seen it plastered on T-shirts, on mugs. Um, I always remember saying it to myself um, in primary school leading up to a sports day, um, kind of to, to reiterate you know, my motivation to get myself ready for the race. Um, probably that sack race, that egg and spoon race in front of me, saying I can do all three things through Christ who strengthens me. Um, and yeah, it's a really powerful verse in its own right. But I just want to take today to unpack that a little bit more, to go into detail around what that actually means to, to do all things through him and rely on God's strength. Um, and also just to look at it from a little bit of a well-being angle, um, because I think there is quite a lot of crossover within this verse in terms of reflecting on our own health and well-being uh, and just day-to-day -day challenges, really. Um, so in order to understand the verse, we need to look at the context. Um, so first of all, that, that looks at, you know, who has written the book, who is it written to. Um, so the, the book is written by Paul to the church at Philippi, uh, and it's written while he's in prison. Um, so Paul is writing this as a, a way to encourage the church, um, because he's not able to visit them in person. And it has a number of different themes throughout, um, but a big one is uh, almost this show of care towards the, the church and their, their well-being and what they're going through. And Paul makes a lot of comparisons to himself, to, to Jesus, um, and uses all of this, again, to, to encourage the church within these chapters. And particularly, chapter 4 is, um, I guess in its own right, it could be, it could be a self-help book. And I would, I would recommend reading chapter 4 of Philippians all the way through, because there's so many little nuggets of wisdom that we can take on board. Um, so I just encourage you to do that. But in terms of... The, the verse we're looking at, I would like to read the verses before and after just to get an understanding of what what that means, uh, what, the, what the verse means within its context. So Philippians 4, verse 11 to 14, it says, I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Yet it was good of you to share in my troubles. Um, so it's clear from these verses that Paul is looking at, I guess, the different seasons of life, the ups and downs of life. Um, and I would like to focus on, I guess, the more difficult times in terms of the mountains um, that we go through um, and allow these verses to give us a different perspective on those um, challenging times, those mountains. So I'm going to bring you four points from the four verses, um, just because I like things kind of making sense like that. Um, so first of all is to acknowledge the mountain. So Paul shows awareness that he has been through difficult times and times of plenty. Um, so this acknowledgement and emotional awareness of the different seasons of life can be just a really strong starting point just to acknowledge when we're going through a good time and acknowledge when we're going through a difficult time and um, it's allows us to kind of position ourselves when we're entering that kind of season and um, you know before we're tackling that hill that mountain in front of us we're we're stopping and, and realizing okay i'm about to to i am going through this difficult season or i'm about to go through this difficult season so i might need to adjust um my kind of um position slightly i might to, need to adjust my approach slightly so that's my first point. The second point is to learn through it. So Paul shares that he has learned to be content in every circumstance. So not only is that point of learning to be content in every circumstance, obviously something that we can valuably learn from. And um, just the idea that Paul is willing to learn and almost emphasizes the importance of learning through these difficult seasons. Um, and it allows him to then be more equipped to, to tackle future difficult seasons and future mountains so it's the idea of you know when we're going through 
a tough time or when we're going through a good time it's it's what can we learn from this um in order to to better approach the next season um and then thirdly it is to share the journey so in the final verse paul acknowledges the benefits of sharing in our troubles when we all walk up a physical mountain it can be helpful to have someone with us for encouragement perspective and to share the journey so think about you know who that could be for you to who, who you can share that journey with or who can you be that for someone else you know who can you encourage and help through maybe a difficult season that they're going through at the moment um, and it allows us to come through these seasons even stronger and then number four is that God has the power to move the mountain so the verse is clear that we can do all things but it is through him who gives me strength so allow God to change the narrative and the perspective of our situation and increase our faith that you know he can bring a miracle um, into this situation and we can do things to, to you know help our situation we can you know share with others we can you know look at learning from it or even just acknowledging the situation but that faith perspective that God can bring a miracle as well um, so just to bring a quick personal testimony of a close family member who I know can relate to a lot of these points um, and know that the benefit they can have through a difficult time such as um, what they were going through and for them that was that was mental ill health at the time and they were really struggling in particular areas such as kind of low mood um, and they took the first brave step to acknowledge that they, they were struggling and it's a really really brave step to do that um, and then from acknowledging that they were able to um, learn you know through that situation so they, they access you know community resources and the support around them so that they could kind of learn how to deal with that and manage the situation and um, they reached out to family friends church leaders and professionals in order to share in that journey and then finally the real breakthrough for them they said that it felt what it felt like it was when they were able to lay it before God in prayer and lean on his strength with a perspective of faith with the situation so they were able to kind of put pass it over to him in prayer you know this is something I'm struggling with but God and I I want you to change my perspective to one of faith that you know it's something that I'm going to come through and come up stronger and learn from and and God moved, you know, he they they are having less less difficult days, they're having more days of of hope and, and joy. Um and and it is down to yeah, to, to God and what he did and also, you know, reaching out to, to people around him uh and getting that godly perspective. Um so yeah, I just pray that today's devotion will encourage you as you seek further breakthrough in your own lives. And the lives of our families and communities. Have a good, uh, a really good rest of your day.